Hi, I'm Dr. Beth McDougall, medical doctor in practice for 22 years, and I am going to share an anecdote of a long hauler. So this would be someone who developed SARS-CoV-2 infection and has not fully gotten well ever since. So I have a 55-year-old male patient who was one of the early SARS-CoV-2 patients. He um, was from New York City and developed a, a pretty severe infection. And post-COVID, he has been incredibly fatigued and has had a, a lot of ongoing headaches and head pain. And then his worst manifestation is periodically he will have these bouts where he goes into a really dark mood. It's almost like grief and despair. And he said, this is not something that's ever happened to him before. And it's not triggered by any life events. It feels very physiological. And it's usually preceded by, you know, worse head pain and a feeling that his brain is inflamed. So what he's describing sounds to me like he has like a neuroinflammatory process happening in the brain. So when I saw him, you know, he just was so weak and not only was he fatigued, he was exhausted and his level of fatigue was so incredibly exacerbated by doing anything. So, so, you know, he could feel perhaps okay, but he was just dying to exercise because he was a hugely athletic person before. And if he went on too vigorous of a walk or something like that, then it would set him into profound fatigue. And I thought, you know, this is not very different than, than a lot of the other patients I see, you know, that I've been seeing for 22 years, chronic fatigue syndrome patients, for example, that have uh, a whole variety of different viral infections as an underpinning you know they will often be in you know this in the state of fatigue that is made worse by stress or exertion so the first thing i did for this person is was to balance his hormones so his adrenal hormones were really really depleted and i think by this point when i met him he'd already been contending with this for almost a year he was one of the early SARS-CoV-2 patients, so he'd been nine months like this. And his health wasn't perfect going into it either. So we, we took a look at his adrenal hormones and, and, and I, I ended up replenishing the ones that were deficient, um, cortisol, DHEA, pregnenolone, and even worked with his testosterone. All of those hormones have natural anti-inflammatory properties and all of them are immunomodulatory and they give you strength. So that did help him. That kind of almost gave him a little bit of a platform to work from. And then I put him on proteolytic enzymes to chew up some of the inflammation in his body, changed his diet pretty radically with the help of a colleague and put him on a diet that seemed to work better for his system. And then I had an insight one day. It was just like a flash of, of intuition that in his case, he wasn't dealing with post COVID, but I just thought perhaps he's dealing with a chronic low grade COVID infection. I think some patients don't have the ability to mount uh, the appropriate immune response that, that quenches it and, and fully eradicates it in the system. And what happened in his case is that his immune system kind of was stuck in this smoldering inflammatory state, you know, producing inflammatory intermediates that just kept him inflamed. So I ended up trying uh, one of the therapeutic uh, drugs that are used currently off-label for SARS-CoV-2 um, because of reports from, from doctors on the front lines that are seeing really good results. And because this is a medication I've used throughout my entire career without any ill effects. So I, I ended up using ivermectin for him and it actually has taken a, his fatigue level way down 
it's kept these dark kind of mood dives out of the picture and his head he's no longer complaining of headaches or body-wide inflammation and he's starting to he still has to be really careful to not overextend himself and and he, as much as he wants to go out there and really kind of get back into a high degree of exercise we're trying to to keep him uh, pacing himself so that he's just slowly building his endurance back and uh, but so far things are heading in the right direction <laughs>